Hey guys, how you doing? This is Samu here. Just to let you know what's going on. Uh, we just had the like the day Sunday was the day of Pentecost, but uh, kind of ironic uh, news what's going on. Um, before I go into this, I, I want to share you uh, something interesting. Um, let's get rid of this thing here. Um, the uh, Pope. It says, looks like uh, the Pope's trying to bring peace between Israel and the Palestinians and stuff. And uh, that's that's kind of kind of interesting. I just want to share with that part. And then also, um, um, let's see here in Rome, um, the Vatican, Rome. First time, it says, first time in history is Islamic prayers be held in the Vatican. So there was some um, uh, Islamic uh, prayers going on in the Vatican. So that's the first time in history, uh, which is kind of interesting. And then uh, you've got the uh, asteroid here that uh, it says an enormous asteroid is passing by the Earth today, and NASA just found out about it. How could NASA just found out about it? And that was the 8th, which was yesterday. And that was the same time of, uh, like I said, Pentecost Sunday. And uh, check it out. The uh, the asteroid, they call it, is called the Beast. I, I think it's kind of interesting. Though. It says uh, um, NASA just found out about it. It's called the Beast. Zipping. Why do they call it the Beast? I don't know. But they call it the beast and this is kind of interesting because uh, you know we talk about the blood moons and you know about the signs and all that so we already know the first blood moons came and now we're waiting for the second one to happen so um, I just kinda it's kinda interesting that the this blood moon happened the same time um, with uh, the Vatican uh, Muslim prayer going on in, in, in the Vatican which is kinda interesting there and at the same time, um, the Pope is trying to bring peace between the Palestines and the um, the Israels together. And and the reason why I want to bring that up is that uh, let me just, um, that it says that in the Antichrist would be like a man of peace. And I'm not saying he's the Antichrist or anything like that, but you know there's two figures in in the Book of Revelation where it talks about us is the Antichrist and this is the false prophet so uh, I'm not saying that he is or not but it just seems kind of weird you know you have these things going on and then you have uh, chanting of uh, Muslims going on in, in, in Rome and then you've got um, this asteroid called the beast is coming by and here's a little, a little side note too also that, that uh, in America there's this uh, trans um, gender uh, summer camps for kids uh, ages of three to eight and I don't even want to talk about that but that's pretty sick boys dressing up as girls and these uh, families there is clapping thinking it's cute um, <clears throat> then you got uh, uh, Russia China uh, um, coming together it's Russia China and Iran and a whole bunch of them getting together to basically uh, create a power source and uh, also a little sign out also that China is buying up a lot of the gold and Russians too as well and they're all signing together and uh, that's another story on that too and here, here's a kind of a interesting thing too also as, as I go into that here's um, this guy here, well, there's another news about the Taliban, five Taliban's been released, and that just happened too, so five Taliban's uh, being released. This is all like in within days, which is crazy. And uh, anyways, um, on this uh, gun thing, it says that, well, now we, we knew, kind of knew about this, about the gun control, and they're trying to get rid of guns and shorty. But this is uh, a news down in um, Australia, and it says that it says shortage of guns and ammo, ammunition, and the U.S. has spread to uh, 
Australia Shores, and this is one of the big, uh, uh, biggest wholesalers of firearms and ammo. So basically, there was a shortage for farmers and security and contractors and so far. So running out of guns. Interesting. And then um, there's this one article here I was trying to pop up that this one Republican guy he's resigning and he said that we're in a time of basically Nazism, uh, like in Germany. And uh, I don't know if I can find an article, but uh, it's in there somewhere. And so all these things are happening, which is kind of crazy. And you've got this asteroid called Beast coming by. And um, now going back to the Pope and all this stuff going on here. Um, I know I know for a fact that uh, God shows signs into the, the, through the air with stars and stuff like that. And um, it says something about Hades comes coming by and all these things happen. The first blood moon came up and then Israel, um, there's stories on that in, in the series. Go look in the archives and the videos on that. So this is a sign, I think, from the Lord, I think, letting people know what's going on. And it's kind of a wake-up call. Um, back to the, the um, Antichrist here. Uh, this is kind of an interesting article that, that I came across, and it talks about... 46 prophecies of the Antichrist being fulfilled. And this is kind of interesting. It says the, the Antichrist will be a man in Daniel 7, 24, 5. Uh, so it says 7, 24, 25. And then number two, that he will confirm the covenant for seven years according to Daniel 9, 27. It sounds interesting, seven years. And then it says that he will confirm, yeah, okay, we read that part, which is kind of interesting. And the word here is confirms as uh, Rao Posit Ru from the Strong Station. And uh, moving on. And it says, He would rise among ten kings, according to Daniel 7 8. And this is ten nations and unions would revive by the Holy uh, Roman Empire, according to Daniel 2 44. And then number four says that he will uh, root up three kings from the original ten kings and political power, according to Daniel 7 8. And number five is that his ten nations, uh, ten union, will merge into a world government which will dominate. This is in Revelation so 13 1 and 2. Uh, um, which is, which is kind of happening right now with the stock market and, and this whole you know, thing, the power and all this stuff. And then number six is that he would rise in power in a platform of peace. By peace that he would destroy many. Interesting. He would be a man of peace. And that's that part where I was talking about the man of peace. And check it out. Pope, um, Israel, and Palestine trying to bring peace. Okay, let's move on here. And uh, he says that he, he was and is not, yet is. Uh, uh, Revelation 17, 8. More likely he would um, be in, in power. The Antichrist will rule and be taken out by power. Only to be risen back by power of the head of one world government. And we heard about that. Um, number nine. The world government over he will rule and will be a red communism. Number 10, uh, the Antichrist will receive by the seven kings and rulers, and he would be the eighth king known as the seventh. Uh, Revelation 17, 11. And moving on, uh, he will have the mouth speaking of great things. Very boastful. Um, um, Daniel 7, 8. He will look, uh, he will look, and will be more tough with his fellows. Uh, Daniel 7, 20, um, 13, and this, this list goes on here, and I don't really have time to read everything on this stuff here, because uh, the time limit and stuff. But 
But I just think it's kind of interesting that all these things were happening. Uh, just getting, like I said, I just came across this um, thing here. And, and you can look and read the news, and it's definitely something's going on. I mean, look. I'll just review back again. Um, it says that uh, the peace thing here happening, right? And then uh, the Islamic, uh, uh, Islamic prayers going on or chanting going on in the Vatican. Which is his first time in history, and uh, this asteroid called Beast is happening. You've got uh, pornography and, and transsexual things happening with the little kids, which is pretty sick. And then you've got uh, the um, powers joining together, and and I know for a fact that Russia is part of it, and China is in, according to the scriptures and Revelation. So. The Red Army and the, you know coming out from there, and you know talking about Meg, uh, Meg and Gog, you know that war. So I don't have to go into that. And then you've got gun short uh, shortage happening. You've got the telephone thing happening. There. So all I can say is uh, it's getting pretty weird. Uh, things are happening, and and why would you call a meteor called the Beast? I, I just don't understand that. About it. But that's that a day on Pentecost. I mean, how could that? How could that be right on the day of Pentecost? So that's kind of interesting too. So um, this is uh, just just letting you know what's going on. Um, you know, I could be wrong, whatever, but it seems like Jesus is coming pretty soon, and uh, we need to be ready. Um, I, I think the rapture could happen any time. I don't know exactly in Revelation if uh, it's going to be in order and everything, but uh, I'm believing that Jesus is going to come first. And all the Christians will be gone, and then uh, all hell is going to break loose. But um, I could be wrong, I don't know. But all I'm saying is that these are signs happening, and we need to be aware of these things, and we need to get our hearts ready and uh, know that Jesus is coming and he's right at the door. Just remember also, I mean, as far as this whole thing about it, those who may not know about the Bible and everything, with this whole thing about, okay, I know the. One thing for sure about he said in in the in Matthew he says obviously we know about the earthquakes Matthew 24 he talks about there's going to be uh, uh, famine right well, we we know right now we're having a, a serious drought thing and I don't even have to post that up we all know that and there's a food food shortage uh, starting to happen as well and uh, inflation and, and all this money he bought a job still. Um, and um, it says um, there's going to be wars or rumors of wars. We know that's that's happening We're with the Ukraine. Uh, Ukraine right now, there's there's a serious war going on there, and other places that we don't know about. And um, things are happening very quickly. And um, and also, I just want to mention about Sodom and Gomorrah. I mean, look what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. This is pretty scary. This is in the uh, this is in America. This is happening. I can't believe this. So, anyways, um, just just think of Sodom and Gomorrah also. So, uh, so all I can say is um, God bless you guys, and uh, we pray that Jesus will come very quickly. And also, uh, that's another article about that. I believe that when when we're going to be taken away. They're bringing up subjects about the aliens and stuff like that and airplanes and everything going on. So, obviously, when Christians are gone, they're going to say aliens uh, took us up or whatever. So, but we're in this time, so um, just be aware. You know, Jesus is coming, and have your hearts ready. Uh, um, definitely, this is a time to be seeking the Lord and not be, uh, you know, um, having one foot in the world and everything. So. Um, Kind of scary. I can go on more about this stuff, but that's that's what's happening. And this is in Pentecost, the day of Pentecost. This asteroid here, the beast. So that's a sign. God bless you guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmean.webs.com.